African-American, and there are certain things with every culture, whether you're Italian and it's your meat sauce, and you throw everything in the kitchen sink in that red sauce, or if you're Asian or if you're whatever culture, there are some things that are passed along. And I know the unspoken rule is, like I said, whatever's in front of you, you eat it. And the portion sizes were not according to the standards that they say now are healthy for living, mm -hmm. as well as the notion of you have to have meat with every single meal mm -hmm. and the carb. And oftentimes with the meat and the carb, the portion sizes were massive. Yes. So for me, one of the things that was really helpful is saying, I don't really have to have anything unless I really want it. There's no mm -hmm. right or no wrong. Food is here to enjoy, but in mm -hmm. the same sense, I can't have everything. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not going to also deny it. Right. And I'm also not yes. going to, but I'm also not going to deny myself everything or even anything. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of how often am I eating it? Mm -hmm. How big is the portion size? Mm -hmm. And have I built, have I thought about my food for the day? Have I had that consciousness mm -hmm. in terms of what am I going to eat for the day? I've always been taller and slimmer mm -hmm. my entire life. But as you get older, I mean, you still, you start getting, for me, flabby. Or, you know, you yeah. want to tone and to yeah. your point where you can't fit in certain clothes because as you get older, even if you're doing the exact same thing, yeah. the weight's going to now stay. Yeah. Now, like you, Diane, I've always been a walker. I love walking. Mm -hmm. If I get to a level where I can no longer walk, then that's a quality of life I don't want to lose. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I've got to have that walking. We talked about the fact that I love my chips, and so usually around winter time, I'll kick back with my babies on the sofa with my classic movies or just a good movie. I'm a movie. My baby, those are my dogs. Those are my babies. Proud pet parents. I'm just thinking real baby. I thought, oh, she's talking about dogs. And so at a certain time, I noticed I would always gain weight at a certain time. So at one point, like you guys have all said, I noticed. For me, I could no longer fit my work clothes. And you, it just gets a little tight, but you notice it. So then I said, you know, I've got to do something about this. So anywho, what I did, I went online to uh, Livestrong.com. Yeah. And I love, love, love Livestrong.com. What is it? It's called Livestrong.com. L -L yeah, they have something called My Plate. Mm -hmm. And so with My Plate, it's about... Uh, monitoring, and again, I'm a big one of inspect what you expect. You can go in, build your, you know, just build your profile and say, I want to lose X amount of pounds and I want to do it in X amount of days. Yeah. Boom, you put that in. Then it's going to pop up how many calories you need to intake each day in order to do that. Right. So then you know that if you eat a certain food or whatever, and it's going to show right ahead of time, it's like, okay, well, this is my intake, and you determine this is how many calories per day I want to eat. I created and did my own meals. So when I make meals, I don't use salt. Mm -hmm. uh, I never use salt because I think people are mm -hmm. consistently focused on the fat or the sugar and they forget about the salt. I'm learning that, you know, if I work out or, or if I eat, overeat, it may not show up the next day. Mm -hmm. It may be two days. The next day is not really enough time for your body to process all that. Let's stop beating ourselves up. If you go up, stop saying, I did bad. Mm -hmm. I, you know, all this self-talk, I'm bad, I ate bad. Hey, you, did you enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, okay, so get back on, the, you know, the program. This is like my fifth time on Weight Watchers. But all the other times, I never was all in with the program the way they say to work with. Cheat here, do three out of five things. You know, and this time I'm like, I'm older, mm -hmm. I got more weight to lose. Yeah, right. And, and sure. I said, you know what? And, and then, like, I might say, what? You can't, what? This is how many points? <laughs> I'm not having any weight. Then, I, then my next thought would be, but what if you just, it, what if you just didn't have it and just for today? And so I take it as a daily thing. Mm -hmm. I'm working the program. I know you talked about when you did finally get to a point, you decided to follow the Weight Watchers plan as designed. Then you started seeing results. Yes. I finally had to self-talk myself and say, hey, why don't we just do everything they say to do <laughs> the way they That's say so to funny. do it? Yes. What 
Yeah. You know, I don't know. Because, you know, I was, I was still having these, well, yeah, like that, but <laughs> it's over here. And I said, you know, come on, it's, if we just, this is so a how much did you start to lose? I started losing, I think, like two pounds. Yeah. They say, you two know, pounds per a week. Yeah. To your point, that's why it's different for everyone, right. which is why right. these sessions are so great because what works for one may not work for the other. What right. you focus on, another person may not focus on, but it's all important and it all works at some level. Absolutely. Right? So at the end of the day, you got to where you wanted to get to, right? Absolutely. Yes. I had a made up mind based on what I saw. I'm not happy and I want to do something different. And right. I'm so determined. Like you, you said, now you went back to Weight Watchers. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm doing it. reading the instructions. Yeah, you're doing, I'm doing it. it. Like, <laughs> started with having a made up mind. Yeah, like, I'm bad at this. I'm bad at this. about the way I look. <laughs>